Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Epic Sneakers. Today we're playing the Wolf Among Us. And what are we doing? We're now on episode 2. Episode 2. Let's see. Ready. Connecting. Hmm. Play. Oh yeah, let's see. Do not, Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey! That's a slap in episode one. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. No, I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, yes. I did. <laughs> Scripts are over me. there. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. <laughs> you are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Yes. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell Slow me reflex. right now what... Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man. This fucking lap dog comes sniffing around this part of town. Rich oh, fucks in the woods. that's before she takes his arm. Isn't that right, Big B? <laughs> now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. I wonder when season two is gonna come out. I don't think I heard any news yet. So it's finished. But season one, yes. five episodes. Isn't that the whole story finished? Yes, for the first episode. But that's how series go. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. <laughs> I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Well, I'd appreciate if you'd fuck off. <laughs> Big B, I've been interviewing people all night. And it's probably not the first time you've heard it today. Maybe you should take a hint. You're a detective, right? Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? 
No? Didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. <gasps> you missed a <laughs> I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> going crazy. Please. Please. That's his good. What are you doing here? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. Finish my cigarette. You're leaving evidence behind, really. Bitter. She bitter. could pretend it's home. What? She'll pretend that it's her cigarette. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Could be right. guy, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Ignore? Ah. This doesn't change anything. Eh. Fine. <laughs> we, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. D was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Or are they? Who will be I next? know what you're thinking, Big B. Yeah. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Slice of morning. <laughs> you know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. What? You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? <laughs> you want a shoulder to cry on? You didn't care then, and you don't care now. That is not true. Not true at all. I thought we had some common ground. Could discuss this like gentlemen. Punch him, punch him, punch him. There is no punch him! <laughs> all right. It's been a shitty couple of days. I know you're trying. I don't know why it I'm asking him. you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. <laughs> she just told me to be careful. I would have said the first. She was always fond of you, Big B. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. 
or animals. He was a wolf. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. Miss White. I got it. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. I'm not paying for the door. <laughs> you can't afford it, especially with the crappy apartment. You know, big living there. Supposedly that's a luxury that's apartment. Very good what answer, happened? Isn't it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. That's not that. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. <laughs> Sheriff. Sorry. With beard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Bit this shit Hello, out of him. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having <laughs> so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with all. me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Why were you at Toad's place? Mm. Looking for a change of scenery. <laughs> Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. <laughs> All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Ooh. Again. That one. Wait, your his hand oh, no. was with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how it's gonna be. <laughs> Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. I can't tell you. And pushing me around isn't gonna change that. My brother and I work hard, and we keep our mouths shut. That's the deal. I forgot about your brother. Doc, right? Appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? What do you think? He didn't do it if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you what find on us? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Ooh. Money. What's with his hand? This hand? You mind loosening those? No. I can barely feel my fingers. Fat fingers. Tighten. Tighten them. Ah. You fucking prick. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. I am. Uh, let me handle this. <laughs> Where's your brother, D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's since we ran into you but he didn't kill anybody so you leave him alone you mentioned faith what about her? Hmm. i went to her apartment that's no secret you saw me there no there's <laughs> more to it you said you were trying to find something all right d what did you want from faith i'm not telling you shit punch him punch him <laughs> <laughs> For this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. Who's your boss? Say? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Cigar is money. Fuck you, money. Get this money. Let me just look at it. 
I heard there was a bottle. You always <laughs> carry this much cash. <laughs> I don't like banks. So what? Fuck it, then my dear. <laughs> you need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Last chance, Dean. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was right about you! You're just a sick... Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. Yeah. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more like someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> what? I thought he got busted, but snow? <laughs> Early the intro, we beat the shit out of two guys. Well, one. We were about to beat up the second. I wonder if we didn't take the money and we got the bottle. We could hit him. We could hit him with the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we wouldn't have the money. You are a big bad wolf today. <laughs> I'm sick. You're out of the camera. <laughs> All right. Is this guy ever awake? No. And his feet were covering them when they're walking through. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I was just doing my job. Oh, that's your job? Beating up people? Yes. Getting answers. <laughs> I hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. That's not your job, Snow. Someone had to take care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're uh, not dead. Me too. Silence was also in. I just want to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> Boring, you I just feel like. What is it? True. I just. Go on. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's. Something else going on here. Something fishy. Mm. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? <laughs> so, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for, then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm not yours to lose. Ooh. <laughs> she said I'm sorry. It. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. Yes, I can take are. care of myself. We found your head yesterday. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. 
Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. <laughs> Growl at the kid. <laughs> All right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. So we talk to the kid then? Yeah, because I don't think there's anything else to check here. Hmm. Oh, that's enough. Uh, Mira, finish! Cancel! <laughs> what the hell Cancel. Are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. <laughs> but what you did to him was way over the bloody line. Oh. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. <laughs> I saw something worse, didn't I? <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son, but right now we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. What are you gonna do, frog? You're a bite and a half. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Uh. <laughs> Watch yourself, Bigby. You do anything to hurt me, boy. Slap the boy. It's okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Hmm. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! It's okay, so take your time. The lady... fell in! But... but she didn't have her head on! <laughs> I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down too! I forgot it at the other second. <laughs> cause, cause she had rocks on her oh. feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? Mm. I heard you could do that. That's why you're the <laughs> sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Superhero wolf. Is there something else you want to say? <laughs> Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. Leave him alone. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. <laughs> this is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. I'm gonna punch Toad. <laughs> Stand or water? I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said 
stopped laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Do you know whose voice it was? No. Keep asking, keep asking. Did you see who it was? I don't know. I don't know. Keep asking. Keep I'm asking. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home. That's all. I promise. I want to go home. Not yet. Okay. You can go. You can go. Oh, you have this up for a little frog. He's only a child. Thank you. It's fine to hit toad, not toad son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Come on then. If I remember, you tried to elf the red hood. Hmm? You were a big bad wolf. You tried to eat that someone. That went about a as well child. as I expected. <laughs> now you play good. You want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Let's go see the body. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. That was the head. They had it there. That. Ugh. Must think. No witching well. Witching well. What is the witching well? Throw them down the hole. Like Alice. I don't know. Or maybe it's um. You know when you have witches and they used to drown them in the well. This is in the uh, olden days, I think. Okay. Huh. So it does look like her. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her <laughs> face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. All right. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It looks just like Faith's dead. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. I think that there was a ribbon in her neck. That was her mouth. <laughs> In her hand. Let's do this first. Ooh. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Hmm. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. 
So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Big Pete, just let me do it. <laughs> We're making progress. Let's see what else we can find. I well, I certainly hope you're behaving I yourself up here. Hmm. Now that you're done punching people. What? What have you He's found out? for it. The glamour is defective. Defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Let's do this one first. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Did you open it? What are you doing? Only way to find out. Uh, Why is her finger uh, broke off? Jesus, Bigby. What? what? It opened, didn't it? Flowers. Supposedly, it's really hard to open the, yeah. the hunt. Hmm. Use this. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> you can't fool this nose. Oh, it looks well. like someone picked <laughs> it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. Hmm. You left the underwear last. I think I would have I've done seen it first. Things like this before. It's <laughs> definitely lessons. magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have Open it, it. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Oh. You may be right. One way to find out. Open it! Open it! What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. It's the butt of a horse. Torso. That's a long horse. It might not be a horse. Oh. It's a deer. It's a deer. A deer. Well, what does that mean? Oh dear. Oh. What the hell? Is that? It's your hair. <laughs> okay. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Me? Mm -hmm. Well... She's yeah. a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Holy oh, shit. Shit. Well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is Holy she? Holy shit, indeed. 
that wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? Lily's I don't sister. know many trolls I'm afraid. And then Holly's Should have left sister. them all back in the homelands. She looks Holly's like sister Lily. Holly. That's her yeah. name. of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh yeah, they oh. said that she was missing. It? It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was reported missing, but it... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. <laughs> Big cracks. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should Do go. you know you something? Out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her we life can. at risk. You're staying here. And do nothing like I always do. You're not coming with me, Snow. I should go. Subset. Yeah, the long wolf. Let's go find the killer. Oh, we're back there. This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's the <laughs> job, really? To She's keep shit something. from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally Not do, though. but who knows where the fuck they went to after. I back. And I'm littering your house. <laughs> Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. He's cropping his pants. <laughs> Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Jack and a beanstalk. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. <laughs> you said it looked like Snow White. Sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Hmm. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. <laughs> he said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. Did you can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your Can tails you go him? between your legs. He fucking something. maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, yeah. Jack. Don't, I'm don't, sick don't, and tired don't. of trouble. I don't want any more. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been out. missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy. Ah, fuck. What'd I do? Bumps. Go fuck on up a beanstalk. <laughs> Man, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Ah, oh, fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right, 
<laughs> Clear out. Give her some room. I ain't Please. leaving her with you. No way. I knew this would happen. I need to know about your sister. Where <laughs> she's been, who she sees. Anyone who'd want her dead. That tattoo on here. Similar to your sister's on the leg. Mm -hmm. Holly. I ain't got nothing for you, Wolf. All right, I think that's... Don't make him come over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why did she come? What could you possibly want right now? What are you doing here? I know you told me to stay put, but I'm sorry, Bigby. I just can't. I have to do something. I'm not... I'm not sitting in the office all day. I have to help. Yeah, she knows. So your business is done here. Holly, the get the upset. fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Hey. It's not your fault. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. How about the fight? I, I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evidence? Being silent as well, the fourth option is Just also an option. Next time, clear with me, all right? Grim. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Go fetch your hand, will you? <laughs> I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ate me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? That's helpful. I'll check into it. Is she? Mm -hmm. Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we <laughs> can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of it, it's a formality with trolls. Uh, of course. Okay. Just give her the buddy. Let's go down to the business office and start <laughs> making the necessary preparations. We could have right. eaten it. Eating a troll. <laughs> Did you eat a troll before? No. My taste. I don't want to eat one. That My taste is good. But it's go ugly. It was you ugly. It doesn't taste good. What? You were good Nonsense. I'm impressed. Have really? you seen a chicken? Thanks. It just made everything easier. <laughs> <laughs> Not a baby chicken. A chicken. I've seen a chicken. I've eaten a chicken. It's delicious, but it's not such good looking. Pudding and pie. Pudding and pie. Ooh. Who is she? 
She has a scarf too around her neck. Yeah. And a ribbon. Is oh, that the thing? Sheriff, yeah. what a nice surprise. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. They lock the door? I see I the doorman? I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I mean, <laughs> more so than usual. I don't much care how he feels about it. <laughs> ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. <laughs> Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where Feel we the cater thunder. to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. <laughs> Always looking for more customers. Yeah. She's like a fish. For fuck's sake. That's a bit underrated. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. <laughs> Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. Nice guy. Seems like a real prince. <laughs> you do have a sense of humor. That's good. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Did you say it's your face? How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. <laughs> what does he start to say? Kiss the what? Kiss what the do you want then? Ooh. You here for a little taste? Tell oh, now it's getting... Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. <laughs> You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? <laughs> Fuck you, Georgie. <laughs> Fuck you, Georgie. It's the big bad wolf. I like him. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. When did you hear about it? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fool. <laughs> yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. You're disgusting. Good luck. She was impersonating Snow yeah, White. Get away from me. Why? Oh, hey, if you say so. Just looks like hair to me. Anyway, even supposing <laughs> she was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. I don't need the trouble. For who, then? I don't know. She had clients. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. <laughs> like who? Try looking in the mirror. 
You get a anyway, point there. Now what to do with me? Go on then. You're gonna hit me. But Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? Oh no, fuck! <laughs> you! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little <coughs> mess? Haven't even started. Fuck's sake! Who is he? Fuck off, Hans. Ah, he's Hans. Handsome Gretel. Oh! I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for mm. you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. Father is getting low. a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. All right. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. It's been 50 know. minutes. Wait, stop. Don't select. <laughs> you don't understand stuff, do you? to break it! Alright. It's been 50 minutes. Let's not go much over it. Oh. Plus the butter is running low. So, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, leave any comments. And we'll see you at the next episode. Bye! Bye!